Hello everyone, I'm Teresa and today I'm going to do a simple monthly oracle reading for all of you. So be welcome to another oracle of the month. It's time to unwind for a few minutes and just listen to the advice of the cards, okay? If you never watched one of my pick a card videos before, don't worry, you just need to choose the card that you feel most drawn to and then listen to the message after I reveal the card. Take this moment to really disconnect from outside worries or stressful events and just focus on my voice and the cards, okay? This month I'll be using the belief in your own magic oracle deck. I don't know exactly why, but I felt the need to use this deck this time around. So let's see if you guys like it. Okay, are you ready? Let's shuffle and draw the cards. Okay, let's start to reveal the cards. And on the first one we have wings okay you never needed those wings to fly this is a very lovely card to start the month it's a very encouraging message to anyone dealing with self-doubt or low self-esteem now are you feeling blocked are you waiting for a perfect opportunity to do something waiting to have the right edge or to get your wings you don't need perfect opportunities or to get those wings you already have everything it takes to succeed, okay? Self-doubt can be crippling, I know, and it can make us wallow in a hole of negativity, unable to move or make decisions. It is normal to have fear of taking the leap, but you shouldn't allow it to keep you from doing it anyway. Having negative thoughts towards yourself, thinking you can't do things, you are not enough and so on, is incredibly toxic on the long run and it will end up hurting you so this card wants you to stop believing those lies that your mind is telling you okay those lies are just fear speaking over your strength and determination don't let that happen because you are strong you are resilient and you can fly whenever you decide to take that step you just need to believe in yourself trust in your gut and see that you are deserving of encouraging words, even from your own self. Okay, moving on to the second card, we have the witch card. Okay, justice is coming. Okay, be ready for an October where justice will happen. Are you feeling people are acting unfairly to you? Have you been, I don't know, cheated of your winnings or progress? Have you done good towards others but got bad things in return? Well, October will balance out the scales. Things you feel are unfair will find a way to settle, but remember to be vocal about it when needed, okay? The universe won't do the work for you. You need to put in the work to grab your sword and fight your way through injustice and prejudice. You have the power, so put it to good use. With care, of course, and without stepping on others, because this justice can come back to bite you in the butt. Remember that if we put good in the world, we will get good things coming back to us. But the same applies to the bad things. If you try to get justice by being unfair or even evil, that will come back to bite you and you will learn that justice works both ways. You can't expect justice to work in your favor if you act dishonestly. Okay, this is a simple one. Let's see the third card and we have the shark. Swim away from this situation. This seems to be a not so positive card, but don't worry. You are probably facing or will face a tense situation in which you may feel trapped, hurt or even attacked. People that may have been friendly or even felt secure at a certain point can be starting to show their true colors and not taking into consideration how that affects you. There's a shift of the energy and you can notice it. Even if you try to ignore it at first, it will just escalate to the point where 
you will be the one getting wounded. So don't allow that, okay? When a situation, a person or anything around you starts to feel off, unsafe, when it starts to tickle your inner fear response, then get out of there. Distance yourself from it before it swallows you whole. People can have the best of intentions and still hurt us because they don't belong near us. Sharks and mermaids don't work well together even if they try. It's time to swim away from whatever is making you feel scared or insecure. Because if you don't, this shark <laughs> will end up biting you and you will get hurt. Protect yourself first because when the shark moves on to other seas, you will be the one to take care of your own wounds. So don't allow the wounds to happen in the first place. Prevent them, or try to at least. Remember that this can be regarding friends, family, lovers, or even situations like work, colleagues, and so on. Be attentive and trust your senses when something doesn't feel quite right. Okay, last card of this month is, whoops, flower. Okay, be honest with yourself. This is one of my favorite cards of this deck from, you know, the sheer beauty of the illustration to the message it carries. Where are you lacking honesty with yourself? What are you ignoring deep within you? Are you pretending to be someone you are not? Lying to keep appearances? Following a path when your heart tells you to turn around? Now it is time to stop. October is asking you to be gentle with yourself and allow you to truly be yourself, okay? No secrets, no ignoring your inner call, no more shutting your intuition away. You know you are not being your most honest self and that is draining your energy and your joy. So what's the point of life if not to be happy? to enjoy who we are with all the good and bad we carry. I know it can be scary to show who we are, to let the world and friends around us know us deeply, but when we do it, we allow ourselves to really connect with others. And only when we are honest can others be honest to us as well. And in the middle of all the honesty, we learn who and what is meant for us. Keeping a friendship that we mirror their personality just to fit in won't bring us happiness. Just the same way that pretending to love a hobby because, you know, it's trendy won't give us any sense of fulfillment. So if you are, if you are an emotional person, allow your emotional self to show instead of pretending you have a heart of stone. If you are more serious and more down to earth, then don't try to play the goof for the sake of entertaining others. Only you know where your honesty lies, where you need to stop pretending and start facing life with reality and even some rawness, okay? During the month of October, practice being yourself, loving yourself and allowing yourself to show and shine. Every part of your own self deserves love and care. Okay, and these were the oracle messages for this month. I hope everyone enjoyed the message received. Let me know if you would want me to use this deck more often or if you prefer my other two decks. I would really love your input, your opinion, because, you know, it's you the recipient of the reading. I felt the need to use this deck, so I did. But as always, I'm not sure if you will enjoy it as much, so let me know. Before you leave, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up to show some support and of course to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will see you on the next video. Stay safe and have the best month of October ever. Bye!